So, now, let's go ahead and get started here. So, player name, of course, it's gonna be my name. But, uh, so this is Game Dev Tycoon. It's basically just a tycoon game where, like, you're making a game and you have to try and get it to sell good. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Um, company name. Let's try that. GM Gymnast Games. That should be good. Um, let's go like that. I think this guy looks good. Yeah, we can go with with him. Yeah, okay. Now, what kind of shirt do we want? A blue shirt? Okay, yeah. Continue. Achievement unlock supporter. So, I guess we just start off by making a game. Let's develop new game. Tutorial. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select the different graphic technology your game should use. Okay, your options are, are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Game number one, what should we call this? Uh, let's see what kind of topics we have first. Um... space we could do a space adventure game that sounds kind of fun okay so what should we call this game let's call it space race space race to the moon pick platform um not sure what the g64 is but let's Go with the PC. There's there's less of a uh, market share, but it should work fine because it costs like a lot less. So PC next, um, of course, 2D graphics. I don't want a text base, um, a, a text based space game. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it's a uh, tutorial. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you will be able to t to decide what it areas of the game you want to focus on picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are, are less important if you want to read a brief description of the different areas please refer to the help menu okay so um in an adventure game let's see what what do we think would be most important in an adventure game um let's try let's try some gameplay yeah let's put the gameplay up engine up a tiny bit but we should focus most on uh the uh, gameplay put story and quests down just a tad and yeah that that looks pretty good okay so Okay, I guess. Do we just click OK? I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I'm um, sorry. I had to mute there for a second because something happened. But, um, game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bu bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Okay. From time to time, there will also be, be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Okay, so we have our our design points and our technology points so here is the development stage two okay so um in, in an adventure game i'm pretty sure ai is going to be pretty important dialogues not so much and level design uh, what should i do here a tiny bit above dialogue but ai is still the most important so let's go ahead and go with that okay hopefully everything sounds okay and looks okay it should Cause I'm, not, I'm not really doing anything too intense here i am recording this i am recording this at the same time that i'm streaming it hopefully that's not like making my computer work any more than it should but it shouldn't so if you guys are watching this after the fact when it's being um uh recorded 
then yeah, I would have been streaming this at the same time. So you can go and check back the stream or check back in a couple days because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be streaming this again. So um, during development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its costs. You will also see the graphic type you've selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Okay, stage three. So, of course, we want basic sound. We want to have sound in our game. Adventure game. Let's put sound a little bit down. Graphics up that much. And then let's even that out with the world design. Okay. That is the final stage. Let's see how this game works out. I, I, I kind of want to get 10 on both of them. Let's go ahead and see how that works out. The development of your game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once the majority of your bugs are fixed. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should never consider that. Only when you need the cash and can't wait to afford it. So we have... Uh, 10 design points and 9 technology can we get one more technology there we go okay so it looks like we can get some more after the fact but let's go ahead and see if we can get any more doesn't look like we can okay let's go ahead and publish it right now Go ahead and do that. Okay, so it's a uh, tutorial. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you will be able to, to decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Okay, sweet. So I just checked back on my stream. Everything seems to be going fine. So if you guys are watching that, then um, please continue to watch that. I'm just adjusting some positioning here. That should make that sound a little bit better. Okay. There we go. Okay, so. Tutorial. The, the development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When a development is completed, you'll be presented with a summary of the experience ga gained. And here it is. Okay. Um, I got a bonus for a new topic and a new combo. 1.5 bonus. I'm guessing we're just gaining experience. I don't think I'm going to be leveling up anytime soon, so. Let's go ahead and release the game our first game space race to the moon 10 on design and 10 on technology that looks pretty good to me release the game your game is not complete will be handed off to publishing you should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon monthly cost 8k okay so i'm spending eight thousand dollars per month but i'm guessing i'm gonna be making a lot more on the games that i um publish so Let's publish it. Our reviews. Hopefully it's not terrible. Three. They shouldn't have forgot about story and quests. Yeah, I guess that would be kind of important in a um, adventure game. That's, yeah. Okay. Okay, not that bad. Meh. Okay, so we're, we're like two stars across the board. That's not that bad, but it's not that good either for our first game. Let's see how this can sell. After publishing a game, you can invest a, a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't when developing a, a game. To generate a game report, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Action menu, game report. Okay, this is our only game. It costs 31000 to make, so let's go ahead and select that. Make a game report on that. GM Gymnast Games, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Space Race to the Moon. The game had a moderate response from the viewers. We are curious what GM Gymnast Games will deliver in the future. Okay, so our guy is now generating the game report. About what it costs. You will also see the graphic type you've selected when you define Okay, first week of sales. Space Race to the Moon sold 1,717 units in the first week on the market. That's not the best. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive income from the game every week. You will see how well your game is doing by looking at sales graphs in the top right of the screen.
Okay. Tutorial. Uh, game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a game report each game you release. Now that you have completed your first game report, it's a great idea to look at the research menu. Open the research menu to clo uh, close this menu and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Game report. Let's go ahead and look at this. Our post analysis of Space Race to the Moon is complete. We got the following results. Space and Adventure is an okay combination. Engine seems not to be important for this type of game. Okay, so next time we can put the engine all the way down then. Okay. So. I, I guess let's just go ahead and make a new game. I guess that's the only the only thing you can do in this game. I don't know. I don't know what else <clears throat> much there is to do. So, um, game number two, what should we pick this time? Actually, you know what? We should uh, research something. What should we? What should we research? Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Okay, try to develop games with different topics and and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Okay, I'm gonna try one new topic. What new topic should we do? Let's try <clears throat> military. Start research. Okay, so now our guy is researching uh, the topic military, so we should be able to make a military game sometime in the future. That should be good. Okay, n nothing is going on behind me. I thought something was going on. Okay, research complete. You have successfully researched a new topic military. Great. And the game, the about what it costs. You will also see the graphic type you've selected when you define... Okay, so I guess now let's go ahead and oh, uh, game off the market. Space Race to the Moon sales. 166, that doesn't seem right. It was a lot more than that. Uh, whatever. Space Race to the Moon is now off the market. It sold 5,782 units, generating 40,500 in sales. Sweet, let's make a new game that is military and is action, military action military um does it really even matter what you name the games in this i don't really think it does military military war war begins why can't okay the the the, the war the, the, uh, be, be begins okay great military action on the pc next 2d graphics Starting new development. Um, stage one. Okay. So this is just saved from last game. I'm pretty sure. Sweet. Okay. So um. Hmm. But what would be important in a military action? Let's try. Engine up a tiny bit. Gameplay up the most. And story and quests. A little bit that that sounds about right okay platform news recent market suggests that Govador g64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector consumers prefer the lower price greater availability and flexible hardware cons uh, configurations over other home computers experts say this might spell the end for the for computing hardware manufacturers, competing hardware manufacturers. Okay, so we are making our game right now. Uh, our guy is scratching his head because he's confused. Okay, development stage two. Um, this is the same as last time. So I'm guessing it just saves it and then like gives it back to you uh, like after. So that's good. Uh, military action. I feel like AI will, will be really big. Dialogues, not so much. Level design. Like, there. Yeah, okay, let's try and do that. Do, do that then. Okay. So, hopefully we can get um, uh, more than 10-10, because that's what we got last game. It doesn't look like it, though, but it might happen. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, um, world design, not so much. Graphics up a little bit, and sound... 
not so much. Oh, I heard a tricky one. Um, what should we do with this one? Let's try and do sound mostly up, graphics up a lot, and then world design not too much. Let's try that. That should work. Okay, sweet. So we got 12 and 10. So this this game is doing just ever so slightly better than the other one. Uh, platform news. According to rumors, Japanese company Nintendo or Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home, home gaming console. Nintendo is known for the widely successful arcade game Donkey Kong. Okay then. Uh -huh. <laughs> Many industry experts doubt this home, that, that that home gaming console will ever take off. But we agree to see what what Nintendo will de will uh, deliver. Okay, one more research point. This time we got twelve, twelve up, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I think we can publish it now. I don't, I don't think we're gonna get any more points. Okay, finish. Sweet, twelve, thirteen. New records on both of those. We got a one point five bonus again. We can get some more XP. Release the game. Achievement unlocked. Good judgment. Create a game with a good topic slash what whatever that said. I, I'm not sure what that said. Um, Steam achievement. My screen resolution isn't big, or my uh, game resolution isn't big enough to even see that. But I'm guessing it's the exact same as as the one that I just unlocked. Um, the first of views for the game, Military War, the war, the war begins, came in. This looks to be a little bit higher than our first game. That could. That's good. Okay, six could have been, could have been better by Star Games. Six, I, I, I like it by an informed gamer. Seven, um, they're focused on gameplay. Served the game very well. Seven, uh, three and a half star. Good game by all games. That was a well grounded game. I would say, yeah, that did a lot better than the first one. It, it better sell more because I'm at uh, 1.5k in debt, but it looks like it is fans the game was so successful that we that we now have 30 fans that is great okay so um we're rank 35 with the game that has a 8k sales that's pretty bad i guess i don't know let me look up like sales sales for like gta what is that is that Sales with a, within 24 hours of its release, GTA 5 generated more than 800 million dollars in world in worldwide revenue. 11.21 <laughs> million copies. So I don't quite think that our um 56th is uh, that accurate with uh, 12.2, but uh, <laughs> maybe that maybe the uh, number will just go up with with time. I I hope. <laughs> Military war. The game begin or the military war. The war begins has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. Yeah, the the last game only sold what, what was it like 7,000 in the first like eight or nine weeks. That's not too good, is it? Okay, so um, this is an important milestone in the history of GM Gymnast Games. That's pretty sweet. Today, Nintendo has confirmed the recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES next, G next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. That is good. Okay. M maybe we can start making some new games on that. Hopefully. I wonder how much it'll cost to uh, license it. Okay. Well, I guess... <laughs> Only thing to do... Uh, uh Oh, oh yeah, we have to do the uh, game report first. Okay, so which game is more? Okay, uh, I thought that was like a game history thing. Okay, well there it is. Which game is more successful? 61, six, uh, 70k profit for my second game and only 10,000 for my uh, first game. So uh, that's not too good, is it? <laughs> Looks like I sold a lot more on my um second one. That is good. Okay, so um we we did a lot better on this game. My guy is generating the game reports. 
getting some more um, research points. Thank you to GM Gymnast from Patrick and Daniel Clug, Greenheart Games. Hi, GM Gymnast. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon. I would, li I would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Okay, Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game, and it means a lot that you are enjoying it with the purchase. You support our little startup. This will hopefully make sure that, that we can bring more games to you in the future. Uh, you rock. Have fun playing. Okay. Um, can we make another game in, like, hopefully, like, two seconds after this thing finishes? That would be good. Combinations for a slight. Okay, so the guy is almost done with his um, researchy stuff. I mean, the uh, game report. So, our pros analysis of military war, military and action is a great combination. World design seems to not be too important for this type of game. Platform, genre match, PC and action is good. Okay, the game is off the market. Let's see how many sales we made. Uh, 17,000 units and uh, 121,000 in sales. That's a lot better, but about 10,000 better than our last game. Okay, uh, new game. Uh, let's try and do, um, hacking simulation, maybe? Yeah, let's try and do that yeah so we should do it on the pc because action is a plus plus on the pc and that seems to be a pretty good idea if we do it on the pc so let's go ahead and do that do all uh, that then okay so pc uh packing simulation on the pc um, taking over, um, huh, what should, we, what should we name this game? I wonder, I'm not sure what I want to name it. Um, one second, I'm having some issues. Okay, there we go. That should be better. Let's go like that. Let's go like that again. Oh, yeah, sweet. So, um, let's continue with our hacking simulation game. So, for, um, hacking. We should try and do, okay, yeah, so hacking simulation. That seems like it would be a very good combination. And then, yeah. Yeah. Next, 2D graphics based. That seems about good. Okay. Um, what seems to be good in this game? Um, let's try. Let's try some gameplay seems to be very important. Uh, engine seems to be kind of important. Let's try. Let's try story and quests in a simulation game. I don't see how important could that really be now. I I'm honestly not too sure how important how important that could be. So let's just bump it up just a tad little bit there. Okay. Game developing stage one. Let's see how this goes. We are up to almost 5-5. Five, five. This game is actually looking pretty good for the first little stage. Okay. Stage two. Um, for a simulation game. 
I don't think dialogue is really that important in a simulation game. Level design might be kind of important. Uh, cause it's like a simulation and there, there's like other stuff happening that's not like the game. Let's put artificial intelligence uh, uh, up a decent amount. Okay. Let's continue with that. We almost have enough to make our own game engine. I'm pretty sure that's like uh, 50 research points and we have 44 right now. So that should be coming along fairly soon. Um, graphics. Okay, so let's think here. Let's for a simulation. There's gonna be stuff like around us. So graphics seems to be fairly important. Sound in a simulation. Okay, well let's just go. A world design isn't that important because like it's a simulation. So let's just go ahead and put it up a little bit. And whoa, I'm just looking at my dropped frames. That's a lot of dropped frames. Okay, um, <laughs> that's not good. I'll try and fix that. Um, sound, sound might be kind of important because there's gonna be like other stuff that's like going on. So, yeah, okay. Continue. My mic has been muted for the last like 20 seconds. Well, that game just finished and um, it seems like yeah, it, it has done better than, than the uh, last one. So we can go ahead and finish up that game. There we go, perfect. So now that that is done, let's see how much experience we have gained. Oopsie. Okay, let's go ahead and head and uh, I'll go like that. Okay, sweet. So. We have leveled up in AI graphics and gameplay. Let's go ahead and release that game. So to, to the people watching this right now, um, hello. If you're enjoying, say something in the chat. I want to know that you're here and uh, enjoying it. So um, yeah, you can go ahead and say something in the chat if you're watching. So um, the, the first reviews for our game have been released. Game. Did I forget to name it? Oh no, I might have. Oh, I forgot to name it. No. <laughs> How can I forget to name it? Quirky but good. Six is a three star from Star Game. Six three stars shows potential from Informed Gamer. Six three star could have been better from Game Hero. And uh, eight four star very enjoyable by art by uh, all games. Tweet so that this game seems to be doing e even better. So. If this game sells well and we get over like 100k, I think well, what I'm gonna do is uh, make a, a game engine. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see the available contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay, so I'm guessing what this means is that like um, I can do stuff for like other people and, and make some uh, side money. So let's go ahead and do, do uh, that then. Actually, you know what? I don't want to start doing contracts yet. I want to, first of all, start working on my game engine because I have made well over a hundred grand on this game alone. So, research. Actually, we, we need to do the uh, game report first. I, yeah, I just completely forgot to name it. Wow. Okay. That, that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do the uh, game report and then... I think I'm going to end off the episode, but uh, keep on streaming here for a little bit. And the next episode, we should do the um, uh, stream. I mean, uh, game engine, whatever it's called. Okay, contract work. Hey there, I, 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 I just finished, and I am impressed by your talent. Finished what? <laughs> I am in the contracting business, and we could use the skills of yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know. I can see if I have some work for you. Jason, sweet. Game report. Um, hacking and simulation is a great combination. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game. Uh, great, yeah, so everything seems to be pretty good. We got our high, uh, 
our, our high design and, and technology points and we are selling like a lot so that is very good okay so i think i think right about now i'm gonna end off the episode but i i am gonna continue streaming so oh it, it is off the market um 20,000 units, 144,000 in sales. Sweet. So, I'm going to end off the episode here and then start another one immediately. So, um, if you're watching the episodes, bye-bye. Watch my next one and subscribe if you enjoyed.